Hey guys, it's Cash Kicks here, and thank you for watching this video. Today, I have a mini vlog kind of thing, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this. I went on a huge, huge, huge shopping spree in Dallas. I went to downtown Dallas, and went to Knowledge, and also Neiman Marcus, and uh, yeah, I, I cashed out. I really spent like all my money, honestly. Like, if you look at my Goyard wallet right here, it's literally empty. Like, literally, like I have a few dollars right here, like just a few ones, but other than that, like, I literally spent like all my money, and so... Yeah, I, I really cashed out. It was crazy, and uh, I'm super excited to show you guys. So yeah, I have a little bit of footage from Knowledge. Knowledge is basically a sneaker store in Dallas, like downtown Dallas, like really downtown. They have really cool space with like a really cool like idea and concept, and uh, basically, yeah, they have this really cool space, so I'll show you guys right here. And this isn't sponsored or anything, but I have done business with them in the past. It's a great store. They moved locations, and uh, their new address is on their Instagram, which is right here. Uh, I think it's at knowledge.texas or .tx or something like that. Um, but it's a great store. Like I said, I've done business with them in the past. I bought like three Supreme shirts from them, two Supreme shirts. And I've also bought my bling towel right there, and then my Supreme newspaper from them. So yeah, great store, really cool. Um, they have like a bunch of just cool brands, like a lot of variety, which is good. Um, a lot of Supreme, Bay. But yeah, I personally really like uh, the store in general and the people there are really, really nice. So yeah, I did end up getting a few things from them. So um, basically I got this Knowledge t-shirt. They have their own like shirts and stuff. And I got this one, which is pretty cool. It kind of gives off like that vintage kind of feel. Like obviously it's not vintage, but like, I don't know, it kind of feels like vintage. And that says Dallas Knowledge. And it has like that thing right there. And it says, the night I creased my sneakers, right there. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool shirt. Nice, just pretty soft, good material. And then right here, I got this. They had this there, they had some Murakami, and I saw this, and I was like, dang, this is so fire. I don't have any Murakami, but yeah, I really like their stuff, and I think it's cool. And uh, yeah, so I picked this up. It's a Complex Con Murakami t-shirt, and it just has the big like flower thing. And then right here, uh, has all that stuff right there. It does say something out of 300, so this is one out of 300, which is pretty cool. And this is a size medium on the back. My favorite part is a huge flower on the back. I will for sure be wearing this a ton, just because it's black and white, super, super simple, um, but also really cool. And my first Mirakami clothing piece, which is pretty cool. So we'll put that in the bag right there. Really excited to get that. Great store again. Like I said, huge shout to Knowledge for letting me film and everything. And then basically I went to this like other mall called North Park. It's like down in Dallas as well. And they have a bunch of crazy stores, like really nice Gucci store. I think they have like two Louis Vuitton stores. They have this huge Neiman Marcus, and that's actually where I bought all my stuff. Basically, I walked in, and I saw their little off-white section, and they had some fire, fire new stuff that I've never seen before. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And they also had some really nice Stone Island. I ended up buying two things, and I spent like all my money, like literally. Like, I had spent so much money there. Wasn't expecting to. I kind of just went there to go try on some Stone Island pants because I was going to order them online and I just wanted to see how they fit. Um, but they actually had the ones I wanted there. So I'll show you guys right here what I got. Okay, so I got this big, huge bag right here. And if you did watch my 2019 wishlist video, um, I did want some Stone Island pants. Uh, that was one of my goals to buy this year. And I got them. So they're right here. They're super, super fire. Pull them out of this nice wrapping paper. They wrap them in. And uh, put that right there. We'll save that uh, until a little bit later in the video. But yeah, I got these Stone Island pants. These are so fire. But yeah, I love black pants. I think I have like six or seven pairs of black pants. And this is another one to add to the collection. I'm wearing black pants right now. I just love black pants. And so they had these black sweats, which I couldn't find online uh, at any retail stores like Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth. Uh, even the Stone Island website didn't have them. But yeah, they have that fire Stone Island patch right there. And these are super, super fire. Um, with the back pocket right there as well. Oh, I didn't even know it had a zipper. That's so sick. Oh, wow. It's like really soft material in there, too. Um, but yeah, basically, I didn't realize that until now, which is super cool. They have a back zipper pocket, and they have some really nice deep pockets right there. 
and these nice little drawstrings as well to tighten them a little bit. But yeah, we got the tag right there. These were these were 270 bucks, which is pretty expensive for pants. I think that may be the most I've ever spent on a pair of pants. I do have some Bape shorts, which I spent like 220 on, but I think this may be my most expensive pair of pants I've ever owned. I usually buy just my pants from like PacSun or H&M or whatever. Um, cause I don't really care about like the, like the brand cause they're just a pair of pants, but I wanted some Stone Island pants for a long time and they had the exact ones I wanted and they fit so good. It's like kind of that more like baggy look, which is like really in style right now. And, uh, they just look so, so fire. I was like, I need these, like this is an Insta cop. So, you know, I had to pick these up. These are super fire for sure. We'll wear these a lot. Um, get a lot of good use out of these because, you know, these are just like basic black sweatpants, but they're Stone Island, so, you know, that's even better. So, yeah, these are super fire, also great quality. Um, it's like a really nice, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like a dry fit, but it's almost like a tech fleece kind of cotton thing. It's like in between tech fleece and cotton, um, but it's a really soft, stretchy material, not like staticky almost, but just like a really soft material. Actually, it's kind of like this hoodie, to be honest, this off-white hoodie. Um, but yeah, just a really great pair of pants. And then onto the next thing I purchased, which is also super fire. Okay, so this next thing right here is so fire. Um, I also wasn't expecting to get any off-white hoodies, but you know, I had to pull the trigger on this one because this is just, oh, it's upside down. But yeah, this is just crazy. It says off-white hoodie, um, all red, like this bright, vibrant red. And uh, it says off right there and then off white. That little logo they're starting to use up there, which I actually like. I think it's cool. It's like subtle, you know. Um, and on the sleeves has the big diagonal things right there, kind of like a faded kind of spray paint look. And then it also says impressionism right there. So I don't know, but it's cool. And then same thing on the other sleeve, just says impressionism and has that cool like spray painted uh, kind of look to the stripes on the side. This is a size medium and it fits me perfect. So I'm like a small medium, like in between. So if you're like in between a size, I would go to the higher size. Um, but if you're like exactly one size, I don't know. If you want kind of a baggier look, I would go a size up. But if you want kind of like a more cropped fitted look, I don't know. You may want to go a size lower. It's kind of a weird fitting, but it fits me perfect because I'm like in between a size. And it still fits like kind of sort of baggy like a hoodie should be. Um, but not super, super baggy like this one. Like this one's really, really baggy. As you can tell, like my like arm like that. It's pretty baggy. Um which I, I like, it's like an oversized look and it's supposed to be like that. But if you want, just depends on the fit you want. And then the best part of it, right here on the back, it has that huge X right there with the 99. Um, this is just, this is so fire, honestly. I love this so much. Has a little TM up there. This is my third off-white hoodie I have. I have three hoodies, uh, an off-white Nike jersey, a long sleeve like thermal kind of thing. And then a t-shirt, like the basic gray t-shirt with the X on the back, the big yellow X's. So this is a super nice addition to the collection, but it has that huge just kind of spray painted X on the back. And I love this so much. This is so fire. But yeah, I tried this on and it fit perfect. And I was like, uh, I already committed. I already committed. I have to buy this now. This is too fire to like pass up. So it has these really nice like silver lace or aglets right there. Um, but yeah, this is very, very expensive. Not gonna lie. I think it was like 600 bucks. It should say right here, 650. It was 650. But yeah, this with the pants ended up being about $1,000. Uh, I think it was like 990. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. Not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting to spend that much. I was just going in to try on a pair of pants and I uh, wasn't even thinking I was gonna buy anything, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, but I will let you guys know that most of that money that I spent today was made from YouTube. Um, I had a really great month of December, which if you know, is like the highest paying month of the year. So yeah, my AdSense was like super high this month and I made a lot, a lot of money. So that was really great. Obviously the YouTube revenue didn't like buy everything, but it did contribute a good part to it. And uh, I did spend some other like reselling money and then some Christmas money on it as well. And if you stay tuned, I will be making a, a how much do small YouTubers make kind of video. This will be a nice addition to the clothing collection video coming soon, uh, showing everything. I'm gonna have a huge clothing collection video coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And before I wrap up the video, we hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm so, so hyped. Thank you guys so much for that. We're halfway to 10K, which is just unreal. That's crazy. I never would have expected that to ever happen uh, when I first started my YouTube channel. So. Huge shout out to you guys for that. I really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it, and I'm out.